Review time, pot. Let's talk about Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill. Looking back, where did this all originate? Well, from a dang survey. They said, if it was possible, who would you like on a $20 bill? And Harriet Tubman was on the list. I don't remember the other people. I mean, how many other women you think we could put on the money? Think about it. Put the names out. Let me know. I know somebody's going to say, Susan B. Anthony. Yeah, she was on the money already, though. But what was the purpose of bringing this out? Well, you have to understand the divide and conquer agenda. Man versus woman, black versus white, that type of thing. And you have to understand the times we are in now. Hillary Clinton running for president. So they're going to keep saying, it is time. It is time for a woman. So since it is time for a woman to keep programming you with that, they want to say, now it is time for a woman to be on the dollar bills. That's why they had the survey. Y'all don't remember that? So we go from that to now becoming more serious. And now they're saying they're going to replace Andrew Jackson with Harriet Tubman. And you get all of the controversy from that. People saying, no, no, no. You shouldn't take Andrew Jackson off the $20 bill. That would, that's not right. So you get these people arguing. You get your Donald Trump coming out. You know the role he has to play. The rich, racist, white Republican. So he says, no, no, no. We don't need to put Harriet Tubman on a $20 bill. Put, on a, put her on a $2 bill. So that looks racist. He's playing his role, of course, to help Hillary get in. And then, of course, Ben Carson also comes out and says, yeah, yeah, she should be on the $2 bill. So he looks like a Uncle Tom. And there's just this back and forth. Oh, what you mean a woman can't be on the $20 bill? You mean a woman can't be on the money at all? What is your problem? Oh, you, you don't want a black person on the money? They talking about putting Martin Luther King on the $5 bill. But here's the thing. Deep down in my gut, I'm looking at this. I'm like, man, Joker's over here arguing, trying to get us divided. But um, here's the bottom line. Y'all Joker's acting like Harriet Tubman would want to be on the $20 bill. Acting like Martin Luther King would want to be on the $5 bill. Joker, Harriet Tubman led people through the Underground Railroad said, I would shoot y'all jokers if you go tell and ruin this. Where was she fleeing? Well, where did they have to flee? After they passed the Fugitive Slave Law, you know, the Democrats passed that. People had to flee to Canada just to be safe. And they was bored and they created hockey, but that's not the point. This country did Harriet Tubman wrong. This country is straight up evil in the treatment of slaves and in the treatment of runaway slaves. And now they want to act as if, oh, yeah, we supported the Underground Railroad the whole time. Trying to change history. No, Jokers. You were the ones against it, Jokers. The same people that was in power then are in power now. They don't like freedom. They don't like us having freedom. This is why they control the media. This is why they control the elections. This is why they try to keep us in a slave mentality. So this whole Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill, it's bull crap. I'm not saying Harriet Tubman shouldn't be on the $20 bill. I'm just saying I'm not going to come out here arguing with other people over this when Harriet Tubman wouldn't want to be on the $20 bill at all. And Joker's arguing for Andrew Jackson on the bill. Look how stupid you look. As if he would want to be on there too. As if you don't remember. He was against the central banking system. Scam. Red Silver J. Twitter man. Twitter man. Twitter man. All I gotta say.